Thank you very much. <laughs> My name is Paul Geddes and welcome to Midnight Madness. <laughs> All right. Saturday night. Saturday night at the Ryerson. One more time. Saturday night at the Ryerson. So uh, it's our 25th anniversary. Let's hear it, Silver Jubilee Midnight Madness! It's been a great uh, kickoff so far. Uh, we've got more mayhem to come. Uh, we have tomorrow night. We're going to get creepy. We're going to get creepy with Oculus. A uh, haunted here. And I believe we have the director, Mike Flanagan, here. Mike Flanagan, where are you? Stand up. Stand up and yell. Mike Flanagan, the director of Oculus. I believe we also have Lucky McKee in the house, the director of All Sea Leaders Die. And Chris, are you here too? And then also, uh, we have the Almost Human crew. Almost Human! <laughs> Tuesday night, indie horror acted at its best. Lots of fun stuff. Um, but uh, I've got a special guest. Um, for the beginning here. We have a program here at TIFF called Next Wave. And Next Wave is a, a programming committee that uh, takes films that we picked at TIFF uh, and uh, selects them for high school students. And there's also another, uh, the Next Wave Film Festival. The problem is the programmers are like, Colin, do you have any films for the Next Wave kids? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Definitely no. However, Matilda Davidson from Next Wave. Tonight's her 18th birthday, so she can finally see Midnight Madness film. So let's hear it for Matilda Davidson from our Next Wave committee. This is... And this was my birthday present to her. She got to meet Eli Roth, and now she gets to do this. Thank you, Colin. Um, my name is Matilda. I'm part of the TIFF Next Wave Committee, which is a group of youth, 14 to 18, who have definitely never seen an R-rated movie, of course. Uh, so this is a pretty big deal for me. Um, and yeah, I'm so excited to be here, and uh, I'm going to deliver a little message about Blackberry People's Choice Awards. So, um, yeah. this film is eligible for the Blackberry People's Choice Awards uh, in the Midnight Madness category. Um, if you liked it, let us know. Um, show your passion for film by voting in the Blackberry People's Choice Awards. You can sh vote for as many films as you like. There are two ways to vote. You can drop your ticket in the ballot box outside, um, or you can enter it online at tip.net slash vote. Um, and lastly, we'd just like to thank um, Entertainment One Films for providing us with this film. So thank you so much. Happy birthday, Matilda, and she shares the birthday with Dario Argento. Very good. All right. So come over and stand on the side here. Okay, so now, next. 25 years. It's a great event because it's all coming full circle. We do discover directors in this section, and this one guy, you know, we discovered him here with Cabin Fever. No one knew who this guy was. Then he came back with Hostel. Then he came back with Aftershock. Put your hands together for one of, for potentially the godfather of Midnight Madness, Eli Roth! This my grand return to the directing chair? Should I have quit at Hostel One? Should I have stayed hosting wet t-shirts in Piranha 3D? Who the fuck knows, but in two hours we will know something. Nobody in the world except me has seen this movie. All the buyers are here, all the fans are here. Fuck it, we're putting it out there. Dick's out for the entire world to judge, so thank you. Everyone else who see it, you are the first. 
And you, are the, so the fate of the movie is in your hands, and to join me on stage is the entire cast of The Green Inferno. Come out, everybody. Lorenza, Eric, come on, make them feel welcome. They came from Chile. They came from the house. Lorenza is a I want to say this, Chile, as you know, is at the bottom of the earth, literally at the bottom by Antarctica, and now we are here in the great white north. So to quote another great Canadian Jew, started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> I have two requests, one very simple. It is my dad's 75th birthday tonight. And so my dad is in Los Angeles, and I thought it'd be really fun if you totally just fucking surprise him and FaceTime him, and he doesn't know we're calling right now. So let's see, it's my dad, Sheldon. If he answers, we're gonna sing happy birthday to Sheldon. Sheldon. No, the drama, can you feel the suspense? My dad? Oh, he's going to be so pissed he missed a FaceTime call because he's going to watch the YouTube videos. One more ring. And maybe... No, wait, it's connecting. It's connecting to the phone. <laughs> to FaceTime for my dad's 75th birthday. I know they're never going to get it right. Dad! Hi! Happy birthday! Speak loud, Dad. A wonderful thank you to people with a lot of midnight passion. <laughs> awesome. We love you, Dad. We'll, we'll text you. Oh, Mom wants to talk to you, of course. Yes, Mom. <laughs> Hijacking my speech again. Yes, Mom, go ahead. It's whatever your intro to, I guess. I just wanted to wish everybody a happy midnight madness. <laughs> We love you guys. Mwah. We'll text you after if I'm still alive. Thanks, everyone. All right. I do, before we sit down quickly, because we will all be up after, we really filmed this in the Amazon. It was completely fucking crazy. The stories of making the movie, I'm sure, are actually more interesting than the movie itself. We got a lot to say. All I will ask you is of this. I know what it's like to hear something about a movie and to go into a movie with that movie in your head. I know some of you people, everyone's going to have Cannibal Holocaust. Everyone's, all I would ask of you is whatever movie you have in your head of The Green Inferno, of what you think it's supposed